Interior by Fleetwood, body by Fisher. Hey y'all, welcome back to Doug's Cars. Today, I'm giving you the Boss Hog Special. If you grew up watching the Dukes of Hazard like I did, you might recognize this car. <laughs> this is a 69 Cadillac Coupe DeVille convertible. Uh, yeah, DeVille. <laughs> this is a parade float of a car. Um, I'm still walking, <laughs> as you can imagine. The doors on this thing probably weigh more than uh, half of a modern car, but this thing is awesome. Underneath that hood beats the heart of 472 cubic inches of Cadillac V8. And it's just, it's just amazing. This thing is huge, huge trunk, huge hood. And actually the interior is, is, is pretty big. Um, and you can see this obviously driver quality. Uh, obviously the, the steering wheels fall apart over time, but it, it did have a, a wood grain inlay and there's wood grain on the dash. And of course, this being a 69 Cadillac, everything you could possibly think of is standard on it. And <laughs> this is something that is daily driven by a friend of mine. That's why it has regular license plates and not the antiques. And I had him put the top down because uh, we're gonna take this for a drive with the top down in January. It's not warm out. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing weighs a ton. <laughs> oh, all right, I got the hood up. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you mash up on this thing. There's no inside safety hood release because of course that was not really a thing yet. But look, it's 472 cubic inches of Cadillac V8. And uh, yeah, it runs really nicely. So you just, with a minor front end collision, your battery not going to be hooked up anymore. See all the accessories here for the air conditioning compressor that's mounted up there on the top of the motor, in the middle. And oddly enough, a lot of cars from this era, you had like two feet of nothing in front of the engine. Here it's only like eight inches here. And then of course the grill sticks out like a prow, but there's really not a whole lot of extra room on there that's, that's unnecessary. That's a big motor and yeah single exhaust we were talking about that earlier because he wants to do make a dual exhaust out of this so it sounds a little better a little more noise but the reason they went to a single exhaust in the 60s is this is a luxury car people didn't want to hear a loud exhaust coming out of this so it feels like it feels like it's gonna snow but it's not cold enough for that so i'm gonna show you all the interior and roll the windows up and we're gonna take this for a ride and then when we get back i'll raise the glorious top because it is power as you can imagine. Now, let's see what this sounds like when I shut it. <laughs> uh, that's the biggest piece of metal. That's one stamping that I've ever moved. Let's hop in. Interestingly enough, the wiper and wash switches are over here on the door panel. But that's okay, because there's a lot of other things here. You've got your mirror control, your power windows, your power door locks, everything is right here switch here you can see that you've got the the red and white lights to make sure that you know you can see you got your power seat control here because this is a 69 you only have a manual lap belt there's no shoulder belt in this car it doesn't exist at all and there are seat belts in the back but they'd be the same thing of course back seat you've got your power window control here and an ashtray with a lighter obviously there's some aftermarket stereo system in here just to make things a little more useful for the modern day if i hop in and see, <laughs> this massive thing here prevents the passenger from doing anything. They can't read the clock, they can't see what the stereo is set to, and they can't change the temperature on the climate control. Only the driver can. <laughs> and <laughs> so if your passenger is cold, um, <laughs> sorry, you're gonna have to ask for permission because I'm gonna be the one who changes the temperature. <laughs> so this is definitely retro. Uh, you know, the fact that the climate controls over here would never fly in a modern car. Um, and does the horn work? Where is the horn? Oh, yeah, okay. I don't think the horn works, but uh, that would be a, <laughs> that's allowed. 120 mile an hour speedometer. Um, you know, this, this probably could do that. Let's see, we've got um, all of our AC vents. We've got a glove box here that's got a lot of stuff in it. I'll close that back up. But uh, you've got your fake wood grain, obviously the Cadillac logo, and a pretty soft dash. I mean, obviously it's got some cracks in it from age. Speakers up here for the stereo. Um, this is this is pretty advanced. 
other than just the weirdness of, of this, I mean, it was normal then, I guess, but <laughs> interesting. There's some overspray from the factory where they painted the upper part of the dash. Interesting. Uh, this this definitely was originally a red interior car, but it was silver, not cotillion white on the outside like it is now, which is unfortunate because it really would pop with the silver. Not that there's anything wrong with the white paint, but uh, silver and red. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nice interior. It really is. I mean, you've got, you know, the wood grain on the doors and all your electric controls and things that, you know, we're starting to become available on other cars. That you get a, a Caprice with these kinds of things on them but um yeah it still was a standard of the world back then that big 472 under the hood this giant six passenger interior with with the power top i mean yeah i was gonna put the top up and drive it because it's so cold out but i think we need to experience this with the top down so i'm gonna put the windows up instead let me get y'all mounted on the windshield and we'll go for a ride yeah uh -oh. seatbelt's got that inertia real that's eh, as far as it's gonna go all right no seatbelt today so definitely safety third door here. I'm going to have to hold on to the wheel. This fires right up. It was running earlier, but apparently it does fire right up. The front window's up here. I mainly say so y'all can hear me. Um, the uh, rear windows go up as well, obviously. It feels so weird to be sitting in the front seat of a car without a seatbelt on. I haven't done that in a long time. I can drive. And we're off. I haven't driven a Cadillac this old ever. Oh, this is awesome. This is phenomenal. I love this. <laughs> oh man, yes. I am Boss Hog. Well, I should be in the back seat and Roscoe should be driving. I go down to the boar's nest to get me some fried chicken. Mmm, this is fantastic. And it's actually not windy in here at all with, uh, with, with, the, with the top down and these windows up. Brakes are not bad. It would be power disc front brakes and obviously drums in the rear at this time. This thing moves. Yes. <laughs> it's got some heat coming out already. That's fantastic. I need it. It's supposed to be in the 60s today and it's like 48. And as you can see, it's not pretty out. There's no sun. This is cool. I like the, li the lipstick red interior. It's 1969 was quite a year for cars. Um, 67 was kind of the year where they changed over from allowing car manufacturers to design whatever they wanted and to kind of have, you know, federal motor vehicle standards after that. And so, let's give her some gas. <laughs> oh, little stumble there. Carburetors. <laughs> It's awesome. I would totally drive this every day. This is fantastic. <laughs> this giant hood in front of me. Got a V8 burble out the back. Going 50 miles an hour with no seatbelt on. Thanks. Anyway, <laughs> there's nobody around me. We should be fine. And there's not really much, you know, buffeting in here. Um, there's a little bit of a hood shake. I mean, this was obviously designed as a coupe, and then uh, they cut the top off. But. I love driving convertible. I so rarely get to do it anymore. Um, can't hear the turn signal at all. That's the way they were back then. The brakes are really good. I mean, I'm coming down from, from 50 to make this uh, right turn and the corners well. I mean, it definitely, it's a boat. It's, it's gonna lean a bit in the corners. This feels great. I really like this. <laughs> it just needs some some horns on the hood and you can you know replicate the whole boss hog experience white suit white top hat instead of my jags hat and my uh my old tumbler hoodie um and my uh ocean springs t-shirt but <laughs> this is awesome imagine if i could turn the tunes on and we could have some music playing and yeah just cruising down to the dairy queen to get some ice cream a 472 going nine miles to the gallon under the hood <laughs> how's the gas oh it's getting down to e I better get it back to the warehouse before it runs out. <laughs> that is the one drawback of these, of course. Um, yeah, the gas mileage is pretty much non-existent. I mean, it's a big, big engine, um, but it's effortless. Uh, you know, the way they used to rate um, uh, Rolls Royces, there's a guy backing up into the street for some reason, so we all had to stop. <laughs> okay. You do you, sir. I love the fact that you just backed up into the middle of a major road. Have a good day. 
<laughs> the things that happen when you when you're out filming that you have no idea are going to happen are always fun. Thankfully, the brakes in this car are really good. Um, I mean, it really is a parade float, and they're you know they're they're power disc brakes. But just hit that pedal and they stop. There's no like waiting. Um, I wouldn't want to do a panic stop in this because I'd eat the steering wheel mainly because of the seat belt. Well, no, I would anyway, because there's no shoulder belt in this. This is a comfortable place to be. It's it's not quite as soft as like a living room sofa, but it is. And just put the hydromatic and drive and go. Um, you know, this is the reason that this car was designed to drive across this giant country that we live in. <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah, on a nice warm day, put the top up, turn on the AC, get your tunes going, perfect. Um, on a day like today, I'm glad I have the heat on. Despite this being the standard of the world back then, they didn't have cool things like an air scarf like on a Mercedes to blow hot air on my neck. I'll put the windows up, I don't need it. Windows were down, I would be chilly. But this Florida boy isn't used to these cold temperatures here in Virginia anyway. Uh, there's, there's really not a whole lot of rattling going on. I mean, once in a while when I go over some weird bumps, but keep in mind, this is a 54 year old car. So, and other than the paint, and I think the seat upholstery, it's original. Um, it's showing 42,000 miles, but it's a five digit odometer. So I assume it's 142,000. Although it drives like it could be a 42,000 mile car. Um, I don't know what work's been done to it. The, the owner picked it up fairly recently. Uh, and it was, a, it was a one owner car. The guy had been in the, in the military and uh, there's still a, uh, a Fort Dix parking sticker on the front. So obviously it was in New Jersey for a while but it's not rusty. Um, and apparently the owner subsequently moved to Missouri and um, drove it back and forth across the great state of Missouri to Kansas City lot. And I know in Kansas they don't use salt on the roads, but I'm pretty sure they do in Missouri and I'm pretty sure they do in New Jersey. So this obviously was not driven in the winter or driven sparingly and cleaned thoroughly afterwards because <clears throat> there's really not any rust on this car. There, you know, there's a couple of specs just because it's old. Yeah, they didn't have galvanization and rust proofing like we do now but you you would expect that this car um, had to spend a lot of its life in the garage the top by the way is original and I will put the top up uh, on camera it's apparently a little slow so I'll probably have to speed it up for y'all just so it doesn't take an hour but um, I asked the owner to put the top down for me to film initially and he did and that was cool because <laughs> I get to drive it like this you know, sometimes with these old convertibles the tops don't work and you know you ask hey can I put the top down no um, just you know, what happens when you film these this one works the original switch doesn't work but the top works and it just makes it so glorious I mean if this were the hard top coupe we'd be you know a little cooped in here um, you know I, I mean I don't have the seat as low as it will go because I didn't want to you know some of the motors are not currently functional because again it's old but I would be right up against the roof. And I imagine when I do put the top up, I'll feel a little bit more claustrophobic um, than I do. Well, I don't feel claustrophobic right now because I'm not I'm not belted in. Uh, it just feels really, really, really strange. I mean, it's very unusual for me to be in a car without a seat. Hold on. <laughs> this, is, this just makes me smile. It's just a big old hunk of American iron. And you know, this was an old car when I was a kid. And it's still here and it's still driving and it, it's still putting a smile on my face and hopefully on yours too. Um, give her some gas, see if she stumbles and now she's warmed up a bit more. I mean, she moves, she lifts up those skirts and goes. This is a heavy car. Although it probably weighs less than most modern SUVs. And <laughs> brakes are, yeah, I mean, like the, the brakes feel modern. They feel like this they could be on a modern car. And it doesn't even nosedive that much. It nosedives, but not that much so anyway uh this is fun um i really i'm really glad that he gave me the opportunity to drive this oh and someone parked in the spot where i was going to park this so we'll do this and i'm gonna throw her into park here and uh let's try the top okay all right so there's a switch down here for the top that i'm supposed to push forward oh there it goes oh yeah she's slow but she's not bad slow <laughs> mm, it's a big top and it is the original top all right 
Now all I gotta do is, is hit these locks and the top is totally done. That's cool. So it only took 35 seconds according to my camera. Not bad at all. Ease the 450 pound door open and slide on out. And now you can see what she looks like with the original top on. <laughs> what a cool car. I'm so glad I got to drive this. <laughs> it's even got the old school thing where you pop the, the Cadillac uh, crest up and put the key in to pop the trunk. Key is currently uh, has gone missing, so I cannot show the trunk, but apparently it's, it's full of stuff anyway. So you wouldn't really get a good idea of what it's like, but you know, power antenna, full wheel covers, cornering lamps, <laughs> this giant egg crate grill. And you gotta love the caddy crescent there. <laughs> I'm still loving this car. I wish I could drive it more. Anyway, thanks y'all so much for watching Doug's Cars and checking out this 69 Coupe DeVille convertible with me. Hope you can hear me over the ambulance over there. And uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for more Doug's Cars because there's more fun stuff coming your way soon. Thanks for watching.